What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with a new sort of video for you guys. I mean, there's now a Rise of Mordor campaign of such. It's not quite uh, complete and it's also not in the world of Middle Earth. But it's kind of a, it's a weird adaptation, but I l do like it. Um, of like with the modern, how the world looks in Attila, vanilla Attila. With a, yeah, with a Lord of the Rings twist. Um, we do have, obviously, uh, like a... A faction for Mordor. We have Sauron here. We have Bolg with Morgoth. I'm not quite sure what Morgoth. Oh, we have another Morgoth here. Oh, so we. This is the grandson of Morgoth. Okay, I like that. Um, and then we have someone else. Some that that person definitely is a character in uh in vanilla. But um, there are yeah. There's obviously still a work in progress. But um, so it's just gonna be a quick video on this. Um, but there is also like. Cavalry left it from the Sassanids, so like obviously like um, they don't have a large enough roster. Actually, they do have South on Cav. I don't know why they couldn't replace it them with them, but the cavalry with them. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Um, but yes, we have Gondor as the Eastern Roman Empire. Um, we also have like over here. Can't see them at the moment, but um, there's like the dwarves and the dwarves are in Denmark. You have um, Dales up there as well. The West is uh, made up of Eriador and Antholas. Um And then there's... Uh, you have the Witch King in the North. There's the Huns. You have... And there's another... There's the White Orcs over here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Here they are. Yeah, the White Orcs. Which are still Hunnic. But... <laughs> you've got to... I do love that. Um, yeah, so that that's quite funny. Um, to see... But yeah, it's a work in progress. It's kind of cool. I don't know if this is different. Oh, it is actually. They have actually got orc archers to replace orc bows. Okay, so the tree's different. I'd say that Mordor is the most complete. That's why I'm showing it. Um, obviously, there's still there's a lack of units, so they can't replace these heavy cavalry. But I can recruit like orc spears and south on cav at the moment. Um, so I'll do a few turns. Oh, what we can get here? Goblin spears. These are medium. Poor armor though. Oh well. We'll do a few turns. I don't know if we'll uh, get in any more battle, but once this campaign is actually um, more complete and up and running, um, if you guys want me to do a Let's Play on a faction, then please do let me know. I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, I do like that. Oh, and he's got, he has name, renamed all of the things. So there you go. You can like, kind of see he's got like Dunland here. You have Eriador over here. And the Shire. And Arnold's... Southern England, that makes it interesting. Grey Haven is Ireland, I kind of get that. That's kind of works. I, Erebor and the Iron Hills up here. Um, and then, yes, this is where, like... Um, oh, what's going to call it? This is where, like... Not Gundabad. Gundabad's, like, here. Mount Gundabad's up here, actually. That's kind of weird. But it does make sense. You've got... Um, oh, what's it? Why am I... A Merkwood there. Okay, so that'll be where the elves are if they ever get added. Rohan here... Um, what was I trying to think? What am I trying to think? What's here? Angmar. This is Angmar here. And Rune down here. This doesn't really make sense. Rune and Angmar being next to each other. But I, you can't get everything quite right, obviously. Got to work with it. Umbar down here. This kind of works. I wonder whether... This is under Gondor for now. So this is kind of like in high Gondor. So Umbar's not broken away yet. Um, and then... But yeah, so then you've got... It's quite interesting. He's not quite caught over here. We changed these. These are... Spanish settlements are still the same. You still do have the um, some of the factions like Nick uh, knocking around. Like obviously, like you've got all the puppet states for um, the Sassanids, which are now under Mordor. Um, but you do also have um, like the Ostrogoths and all the Vandals. They they'd be around fighting Urukai, which are here. They I think they're over here in uh, the Orthanc, which is like here. Um, so yeah, it's quite interesting. It's um, and Lorien's down here. Ah, so it's. I wonder whether they'll chunk up, like, the Empire of Eriador and stuff. Because it's, like, the West is made up of Eriador and Arnor. The East is Gondor. If it's supposed to be Third Age, then you wonder whether, like, Lorien um, will just be independent. They'll split that off. I hope so. It'll be quite interesting to see. But we'll go back to the main map. Um, and, yeah, we'll have a look at some of the buildings that you can build, I guess. So, yeah, it's just undeveloped land, yep, sure. So, local industry, that's obviously the same as before. Sauron's providing jobs. Goblin pit, so you can get goblin spears. Let's have a look what this then moves on to. So, you get orc rabble. I would have thought that would have gone in the first one, the goblin pit, but maybe not. Maybe orc rabble are better than goblins. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, then you've also got orc hurlers. You've got serpent scouts, orc spears. And then, uh, just orc rabble provided. Okay, 
That's interesting. Then what else do you have? You have, well, let's have a look at that. Local industry, I pres presume this just all the way just goes down and just, yeah, provides more money. Like usual, well, what would a well provide for Gondor? Or not Gondor, Mordor. Apparently sanitation. Apparently sanitation, big thing in Mordor. <laughs> they need that. Necromancer then. Ah. So this is, um, it's still Zoroastrianism at the moment, but um, that'll probably change to, like, Morgoth or whatever, like, that would be. I don't know. What is what is Mordor's sort of religion? I wouldn't know. Orc camp. I guess I'll have a look at this quickly. Ruined village. Um, doesn't just provide lots of stuff and honages. Wow, ten goblin spears for the final war hold. Wow. Um, that is quite good, actually. Marble stone cutter. I presume this just, again, is another industry thing because we're in a marble village. Fields. Apparently they need they need fields. Uh, like This is like food, as presumed. And then field of the eye. Okay, this just again is kind of a commercial thing. Taskmaster's pit, I like this, I like this. Inspector Routiners, and then Tower of the Eye. I presume you can only do this in one place, surely you can't have eyes all over the place. I don't know, I would have thought they would have made this a uh, very unique thing, but it still works I guess. Oriental Harbour, so you just get, okay, so they're all still... The ships are still the same. That makes sense. Oh, the common just common ground. Okay, okay. This might be what fighting pit. This looks like where there's a lot of work's gone in. So you got Uruk warlords hold. Um, I don't know. I would say, I'm saying that this is very similar to what you do have in the normal thing, like slave trader, meat trader, road of roads of Mordor. Ooh, that it does sound quite interesting. To be fair, slave market, slaughterhouse, fell tower. Yeah, it does actually look quite cool, to be fair. And then, Sirith Palantiri. Provides garrison of some immortal cavalry. Didn't think you'd have any of them <laughs> around. But yeah, it does seem like... Okay, Khan horse warriors. Okay, Khan dismounted bowmen. Savaran um, elf cavalry oliphant. Okay. Uh, armored oliphant. Um, some, and then some cavalry that are still eastern. Okay. That looks interesting. So I guess we'll move some stuff around. We can do maybe have a quick war with more uh, with Gondor. Move some stuff up here. There you go. Just move some stuff. Off you go, chaps. There's no point in uh, doing too much. What can I recruit? Let's just yeah recruit some more spears then. More meat into the grinder. Can what can I recruit here? Oh yeah, they're in the same spot. Okay, well we'll just. I don't think anything major will happen. I'll I'll build a few things, but I'm really not too fussed. Um, we'll build. Build a goblin pit, I guess, and we'll build some. Uh, have a wheat field. I'm not too first, like I said. Um, build an economy of some sort. There we go. And then, oh, what's this? A wealth pit. And then roads to Mordor, of course, and common ground. We'll build some roads of Mordor, not roads to Mordor. We're already in that. Um, I guess. Uh, the White Orcs are at war with us, arranged marriage, yeah, sure. Uh, I could demand some money. Whatever. There you go. If I ever wanted that, there you go. Someone's married off to whoever. I have some more money to spend on stuff. Oh, we can upgrade. Lovely. Let's put in some industry because, you know, you've got to make those jobs. That Sauron makes jobs, he does. But yes, it looks like the White Orcs, which are actually still the White Huns, are doing their thing over there. So we'll end the turn and we'll just... Have a look and see what happens if I declare war on people. I just see if anything happens in an intern. Um, like I said, it'll be a quick little video. It's just kind of just to show off um, what it is. And I'll show you at the end all the various different factions that are uh, added to the mod. And I'll leave a l l link in the mod of the mod in the description for you guys to have a look at. So there you go. Gondor's doing its thing. Eridor and Amphalas. That's the other major. That's like the Western Rome Empire. you still got lots of other... People, which they've changed the names, but they've not actually changed anything else yet. They're offered. They're offering me a what? Yeah, sure. Non orc tribes. Okay, so there's other orc tribes around. Yeah, whatever. There you go. And uh, whatever. I presume I can declare war. Gorgoroth. Oh, so this this part of, should be under our control because I know for a fact that it should be. My allies, their allies. They have Northern Harad as their ally. Wow. They actually have a lot of other people as their allies. Okay. Well. Yeah, whatever. I'm not too fussed. Uh, they refuse to join my side. War against Armenia refused to join... Well, what is Armenia? But it's apparently the Seragost Orcs. Okay. Yeah, just take it. Whatever. Yeah, I imagine it's all the same. So, I mean, I'll just take a few. There you go. Whatever. Attack. Kill these people. 
Um, yeah, let's see. So they implemented some units, uh, Spear Militia. I'm surprised Gondor was still a work in progress when I saw it. This is the only, only faction that doesn't seem to have work in progress next to it. Obviously, some units are yet to still be added. It does seem like... Well, Gondor... Uh, not Gondor. I keep mixing them up for some reason. I don't know how. Um, but Mordor... Um, does uh, not have any heavy cav at the moment, really, apart from Serpents of the Eye, but I guess you can't get Serpents of the Eye as like, your first tier units. Uh, but yes, anyway, so that just ends in a... There you go, they get beaten up. Apparently he has a mace, and he still has an eastern thing. That's kind of... Yeah, yeah. I could see an orc having a mace, certainly. But there you go. And then we we could occupy that. We'll sack it. We'll, we'll just occupy it. But it is nice to see they have all of the things like Mines of Arid Dur. They changed all the names for the places. It's certainly a good work in progress. I do like that. Um, and yes, so that is very good to see. Um, we don't now obviously be at war with these guys up here. I'd crush these guys into oblivion. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna end, um, end this little campaign here. I'll uh, quit out and I'll show you guys all of the, um, the other factions that are available to play. I won't go into any great detail. Um, but there you go. So you can, you've seen like what it looks like on the map a bit. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. So we are back on like just the campaign selection thing. So as I was saying, the Witch King is like now the Huns and he's up here. The Witch King's hordes. Um, he's just like able to just well, he's scourge of the earth apparently. He's going to burn stuff. I'd like it if he's able to make an allegiance with Mordor. Like there's events and stuff like that. And he can almost settle or they can come under... The Mordor's influence because, well, he is kind of under, it should be under his influence. He's got the White Orcs. Again, I would have thought there should be an event that allows you to make these guys come under Mordor's influence or something because, like, that's the whole point of Sauron. He's gathering, he's gathering the forces. Like, they should also start a war with um, Mordor, you imagine. They should really just, I don't know, be there maybe. And anyway, you have Gondorian kingdoms, you have Gondor itself, you have, uh, Basically, the Eastern Roman Empire. At this point, you have Eridor and Flas, I, which is the Western Roman Empire at this point. I do think they should probably lose a bit of land. Like, Lorien was, like, here in uh, Venice, so they should probably lose that. They have Imperial Legions, apparently. Okay, wow. Can levy units from friendly hordes passing through Roman territory. Well, it's not Roman territory anymore. It's Gondorian. But yes, they are, like, as it says there, done, but not done yet, but playable. So they've got some units, but they're still in work. And then you've got Mordor. It's like the only one that's kind of really done. Um, you've got the Fighting Urukai, which is quite funny because you've still got all of these factions here. But you have the Fighting Urukai, who start off in, well, the middle of... Um, well, they start with the Swabians, up, do basically then, don't they? They start in the middle of the uh, Eridor and Anflas, and they're going to just hunt for the ring. I do wonder whether, like, reading this, it's like, the Urukai are restless and pride, and they're, like, searching for the One Ring. Yada yada yada, like you see in the Fellowship. I wonder if the One Ring's in this game. I wonder if it's going to be added. I'm not really sure. It'd be really good if it was. Um, then you've got War on Rohan. So you've got like the whole like Helm's Deep um, sort of scenario going on up here. So you've got Westfold with the Entwash. You've got Edoras down here. I wonder. I would have thought Westfold would have been under Edoras, but I'm not sure. Maybe they're not. Possibly not. But then you've got Isengard here. Oh, wait a minute, are Is No, they aren't. I thought Isengard and uh, Westfold were in the same region for a moment. But yes, you have Isengard. It's a new power rising, and they're actually done as well by the looks of it. Um, and maybe these ones are, because they don't have uh, work in progress next to them. So interesting that you started with Rohan and Isengard. I guess Rohan's not got many units added in, so it is kind of easy to. But yeah, so it does look like Isengard has also been added. Erebor, like I was saying, um, you have Erebor and the Iron Hills up here. Um, at the moment, in the yeah, being Vikings playable yet, and yes, the dwarves are now Viking. Their fault, not mine, apparently. Um, and Dale, uh, just off the well, next to the Iron Hills, obviously. Then you have the Grey Mountain dwarves here, so they're just going to put all the dwarves together. You know, the Grey Mountains are a long, long way away um, from. Well, I don't know actually. No, I'm thinking of the Blue Mountains, um, but yeah, they might be. I don't know. Gundabad, anyway, is in Scotland. You have the Caledonians and Fallen. Or Lindon. I'm not quite sure who they are supposed to be. Uh, but they still have all their, like, sort of Celtic stuff going on. So, anyway, you got to have Gundabad here threatening um, Arnor and stuff. That does make sense. Where are they? Yeah, like, makes sense. Like, Arnor and Eriador being threatened by Gundabad. 
That makes sense, and that'll be the threat there. Maybe they'll be able to get an allegiance to Mordor, I don't know. Then you have the Serpent Kingdom here. Again, well, actually, that this, yeah, they're still called the Lacamids, basically. They're very much, I doubt, being touched. They've just changed the names. Himyar, yeah, you've got Tanukid still left. Um, and then, yeah, all these factions are still the same. Then you've got Rune. Um, are any of the, yeah, these are just here. They basically have replaced the Scalavians at the moment. Whether he's going to omit all these other factions as well, or change these to other things, I do not know. It would be good if he does. Um, obviously, kind of would probably mean adding some of his own factions, so they're not enough. They're not all the factions of the world have been added. I'm surprised Dunland is not in it yet. Um, and obviously the elves are not in it. I do wonder whether he will add them. Um, would be interesting to see whether they get added. Um, but yeah, that, there you go, guys. If you want to uh, play with the mod, then you're more than welcome to. It is obviously in alpha at this moment. It's on the Steam Workshop. I will leave a link to it in the description. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little overview of this uh, mod. Um, I may, if it gets more updates, like I said, I will do a campaign of some sort on it. Um, because it'll be kind of fun to see what happens. Um, but yeah, until next time, Legionnaires, 